Hello everybody, I am Seawalk the Platinum One. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last part, we got done with Ghostly Galaxy as far as we can go too. And today, we're going to start Beach Bowl, which I call the Toilet Bowl Galaxy. Wanna know why? Well, you'll see. First star here is Sunken Treasure. Simple as that. And now we get a view of the galaxy. Look at it! It looks like a giant toilet! Seriously, look at that! Seriously! God! And we're swimming in the toilet rotter. Uh, rotter. We're, we are swimming in the toilet wa rotter. Bleh. Okay. So disgusting. The students are distracted by the sparklies. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to get into swimming controls now. To dive, you simply press the Z button. To, to go a little faster, you just shake the Wii remote. To obviously stroke, you have to press A. And to dive down a little bit deeper, you just press Z while you're in the water. So that's pretty much the basics of swimming. Plus you have a little air meter instead of your own power. Instead of just using your own life meter. Unlike in the previous games. As Mario, Mario uses a lot less a lot less air for spinning than Luigi. That is if you're playing as Luigi. And the last one should be here somewhere. Huh. See, I always get I always get the last one. I always don't I always get confused what the last one is. I do. Hmm. Where is it? Well, oh yeah, there it is. Can't believe I missed that one by a mile. Come on. Get out of the way, penguin! I had no idea why you're not in the cold regions like you should be. Okay. So now we're on the top of the toilet bowl. And we have bunnies! And yes, we have the underwater theme from Super Mario Brothers. That's an epic way to finish off this thing, am I right? Yeah. That's an epic way to save this thing, am I right? Okay. There we go, there's a one-up right there. Now remember, my advice for you is, if you, sh if you should be ever doing a Let's Play part of this game, as Mario or Luigi, you should get stock up on lives first. Because you never know how many times you're going to fail. Unlike me, of course. Yay. Passing the swimming test. And during the off-screen part, we got the Hungry Luma for this dome and we discovered the last galaxy of this dome. Okay, now heading back to the toilet, we now have to pass a swimming test of sorts. Basically, all we gotta do is steal a gold shell from the penguins. Now, if I can find the, if I can find the shell, then we can... then we can get this over with. Because it's usually around here, isn't it? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe you have to talk to the penguin for... Maybe you have to talk to the leader guy first. You're here to take the swimming lessons final test? Oh yeah, you do. You have to collect the shells in the ocean. If you give me a good shell, I automatically... I'm not even in your class! Oh well. Give me that! 
Yeah, we stole from a penguin. They'll teach those penguins from Madagascar, which shouldn't even be here. Okay. So anyways, we get an automatic A for stealing. Yay! Amazing. Here's a gold medal for you. In the form of a star. Okay. Nice job on the test, but are you even one of my students? You don't know anything, old man! Die! Yeah, we killed him! Nah, no, just kidding. Just kidding. You got a star. The undersea secret under thing whatever. The secret undersea cavern. Toilet! Okay. Anyways, now we gotta actually get a shell and do something with it. Oh my god, we get to actually do something. Okay. So getting into shell controls, it'll basically make you swim faster. You can press Z to you can press the Z button to break. And look at this. Breaking lights. Breaking lights. <laughs> breaking lights. And the light will shine on its target. And you have to shake the rear mode to throw the shell. I love unlimited spinning. It's a shame they took that out in Galaxy 2. So sad. But a cost to pay for the best sequel ever made aside from Mega Man 2 and The Empire Strikes Back, the film. And a bunch of other things. I don't know. Ow! Forget you, bats! Okay, so now we have this planet, which is what I call the Stone, stone Cyclone Planet. Basically, you gotta avoid these things. Those, these are called toy boxes. I have no idea why. They, they are just creepy. A little bit too creepy to be named toy boxes. And oh crap. Probably shouldn't do that. Okay, there we go. So as you can plainly see, this is a very complex planet. Not really a complex planet, it's more of a, uh, more of a test for survival. Oh, and by the way, if you squish, if you get squished by those things, you're dead. This is actually a lot easier than Galaxy 2, because in Galaxy 2, this planet does return as a galaxy, but the enemies are a lot faster. I gotta tell you, that was really hard for me. I had to get the five silver stars and the green stars from that planet, galaxy, whatever, and top it all off, I died like, like a decade of times to get it. It's so unfair, man. So unfair. And now for the secret mission. We have to select the secret undersea cavern. Okay, so anyways. The secret which you are looking for is hidden in the chest on the right side of the of the toilet of this toilet bowl galaxy. And look at that, we're swimming on the surface. We're swimming on the surface, everybody. Why am I singing? On land, you can carry the shell. And same thing, same deal, you have to throw it. Whee! We're flying so high into the sky, and that planet's so annoying. And here we get the awesome Mario 3 music again. I am ruining this song, and here is a cat to crack, which is from Super Mario Sunshine. And then I'm gonna stop singing. Why can't I stop singing? Maybe I just love it. Okay. Yeah, being home alone for so long makes you, makes you wonder, what is there to do? And here we are, we have Ice Mario. You can walk on water just like some guy. Okay. 
Anyways, with Ice Mario, you have to climb these waterfalls here and not fall. Excuse me. You can walk on water, and you can even skate on water, too. So, that's pretty cool. It's a darn shame they didn't include this in the second galaxy, because... Because otherwise, that would be the greatest game ever known to man and monkeys. Okay. So anyway, here's the annoying part of this mission. You have to make the cataquack follow you on the water. And I always hate it. Stop doing that! Ding! Okay. Okay. Anyways, we got it. Yes! We got a star, people. We got a star. And just as expected, we have the Fastbo Comets. Fastbo Comets. They basically make enemies a lot faster. And guess which planet we're going to now? If you guess that, if you guess the toilet bowl, you're wrong. Fastbo's on the Cyclone Stone. I hate the Cyclone Stone. I really do. I just hate it to an extremity. Now you're probably going to see me fail like a million times. No wait, that's Galaxy 2, never mind. Haha! <laughs> okay. So anyway, getting into this mission here. Everything on this planet is going to... Oh, the, the, damn, damn it! Crap. Well, there goes one of my 14 lives wasted. I actually don't like it that they give you a choice whether or not you want to return to the Comet Observatory or not. It just didn't seem... I mean, they did give you a chance to go back and, like, if you wanted to, stock up on lives, but... But I'm so glad they did remove that choice to go back to the hub world and that in, in Galaxy 2. Plus, in Galaxy 2, you're not... You're not automatically locked into a Prankster Comet mission. You could choose whether or not you want to do the mission or not. So that is a big improvement. Anyway, that square right there was the safe zone, by the way. And here is another safe zone. We enter Purified Protection Zone! All of my Pokémon are healed! Wait, what? This isn't Pokémon, kids. It is Super Mario. Galaxy. And we're at a galaxy, which resembles a huge toilet. Nintendo Capri Sun would have been so happy. Yay. That was an unintentional steal. I am sorry. And why am I talking like this? I still gotta stop talking like this. Whatever. Wait, should I stop the video here? Because right here we have we don't have any more anything left to do. Hmm. Well, I think I'm just gonna end things off here. Okay, so we've gotten five five of the Beach Bowl Galaxy the Beach Bowl Galaxy basically done for now, so that's really cool. We completed a galaxy in one video. That's awesome. I really gotta stop stalling. Running around in circles, okay. Alright, so next time on Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, we are going to stop running around and head off to the next minor galaxy, and hopefully we're going to the Bowser Jr. stage, since this is an odd number dome. And my Wii Room, my nunchuck controller was clearly connected to the thing, designers. Very good, guys. See you guys next time.